watching the game from the sideline the entire time. Now you're going out to take the field as a starter. Prater, an outstanding runner. Turf Monster got him. Now you know what got up him. One yard short of a first down. Wonder if there's nerves on both sides given oh, everything that's at stake today. No doubt, my man. Into the flats, Tajay Spears corrals it and then dances across the 20. Threats knocked him out after a six yard game. And he'll set up the screen far side. Lawrence Keys stopped at the 45 by Hicks again. A four yard gain, and quickly it's third down. Well, I like what Keys does there. Gas Price of gas yeah. was uh, a, a lot less expensive. Jaden Thompson in the flats and a short game. You know, Evan Prater is quite the athlete. He told me he thought he'd be a basketball player. And a 34 yard field goal attempt just inside the right hash. On the way, and it is good. Tulane strikes first. The winner of this game advances to the AAC Championship next weekend. Green Wave, a good start. Bullcats out of field goal range on third and long. We'd like to get something here. Prater buys some time, has a man, and how about a first down? Nice. Avoids the blitz. And Clark out of the secondary. He doesn't get home. They protect just long enough for Prater to survey things, get an accurate ball out. Well, Florida State, I think, is playing some of its best football under Mike Norvell late this season. We've seen them earlier this year as Coe sends home a 28-yarder to tie us up. When you have two defenses that are as solid as, as these two, that's and that's why they're at this stage in the, in the season when both could get to the championship game. What a run. Gubbery picks up a first down. Four third down conversions on this drive. Spears stays in as the Wildcat. Spears gets outside. A stutter step and a touchdown. He paces well, trying to give chase, but he can't catch up with him. And you see him there freeze Hicks, then he freezes. We were hoping to get it back after that monstrous 8 minute 25 second drive. Prater! In plus territory, stop at the 49. It'll be a gain of 18 on third down. And that's what he can do. That's that's the strong suit of his game is to pull it down and make play. They get down inside the red zone. They get very, very stingy. Charles McClellan has a first down and a lot more. Look at the cut. McClellan to the end zone. And 2020, finally healthy his senior year, but showing some pretty good balance and speed here to break a couple of tackles, and then all of a sudden, send you guys to the to some place here to shop in Cincinnati today. Yeah, Clark wants to buy you another one of those snuggies that you wore a couple of weeks back. <laughs> Tajay Spears has wow. a first down. Percentages in terms of offense cre creeping ever so more in the uh, positive direction on the ground for Tulane. 150 or so left here in the first half. Plenty of time with two, three timeouts remaining. On first down, Pratt off the pump fake has Keys. That's another first down inside the 30. And Keys will try to keep this play alive. An official yeah. signals a touchdown. He rolled over on top of Arquan Bush, and I'm not sure he ever touched down. Bush gets back to try to make the play, and Keys gets up. That's going to be six when they even when they review this. Unreal. What a heck of a play. Oh, I don't know. The knee might have gone down early before Bush even initiated the tackle. Pratt pulls it out. And it'll be tackled at the 30. He'll lose a yard. Brogio back on the field. Kick is on the way. And it is good. A new career long for number 43 in White. How important is it for a head coach to know his kicker? That's ex the exact distance. Look at his rusty start this season. Pratt pulls it out and has big yardage. Stepping out near the 30. That's a 14-yard gain in our second half. What a play fake by Michael Pratt because I went with Tajay Spears fully expecting Tulane to come out and run him. Going pressure here. Time, plenty of time for Prater. Through the progression and intercepted. 
Green Wave come away with it. Dorian Williams, the talented linebacker. Over and handed, I, I would imagine, to a family member, that interception that's wearing his jersey number. But nice job with the eyes and just reading Evan Prater. He stays on Thompson a little bit too long. And it results off his hand. We'll fake it to Spears. Pratt's been crafty on the move. Pass caught. And that is a chain mover all the way down inside the 15. Well, Wyatt was running a curl, and then when he saw Pratt hadn't thrown the football and he's continuing to roll, he starts to roll. So he presents and gets himself away from the defender just to give enough room for Pratt to throw it in there. Tajay Spears with 125 yards on the ground already. They'll fake it his way. Dump off to the tight end. Cincinnati was ready for Tyreek James. Pratt under center. Handoff Spears to the edge for the touchdown. What a quick burst Tajay Spears has. He shows it inside to get everybody to just freeze just a second. And all of a sudden, he's on the outside edge with that burst to get in the end zone. Just freezes the inside guy. Second down. Toss sweep Montgomery. Plenty of real estate and a hurdle and a first down. We made Larry Brooks miss because Brooks is going low and he's as good a tackler as there is on this two lane defense. Well, that's just great athletic ability. Wiley in motion. Montgomery, the running back. 22 off and running with the move and a touchdown. Excellent run by Ryan Montgomery. Designed to go inside. He's able to bounce it. A good game over on the ESPN. A great win here. The winner of this one hosts the AAC Championship next week. And a three-point affair. Lawrence Keyes from his three. Waiting on the convoy with a nice cut. And Keyes stopped crossing the 30. With their opportunity to make a big play against this stingy two-lane defense. Prater, off the pump bait, Prater, out of bounds and incomplete. Yeah. Will Pauling, the intended receiver, he had all day to yeah. throw. On second down, Montgomery with a burst, Montgomery with a touchdown! What a move that he put on Larry Brooks. I mean, you're talking as good a tackler as, as there is with Larry Brooks on this two-lane defense. and You know he's going to be a big part on this drive, but they've got to show other players can make plays as well. They'll fake it to Spears. Pratt across the middle. Has a man and a first down. Shea Wyatt racing into Cincinnati territory. Same play in the first quarter, and Shea Wyatt put it on the ground here. Brent's going to put it in a place where he can't drop it. I mean, that's about as perfect. It's a gain of 33 yards. Pratt now over 100 yards passing to the end zone. Pass is caught. And the green waiver back in front. It's Deuce Watts. My goodness. Under 100 yards when this drive started. Two big pass plays to Wyatt. And then the next one coming to Watts, the other wide receiver on the other side. And Spears picked up two, second down and eight. Pratt has been in the shotgun most of the afternoon. Spears, oh my that's goodness. a first down and a lot more. Boy, the change of direction, he kept cutting inside. But he's popping other ones for the defense, giving it, taking it away. Explodes through a hole, makes Tyvan Falson miss. Another miss by a secondary player. That's just unbelievable. Green Wave going back to the Crescent City. Feeling good about life and hosting next week's AAC Championship Tilt. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.